so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an appointment uh, via Book That In. Uh, so to do this you go to your business area at the top, go to your booking types and this time we'll select appointments. And this brings up a list of existing appointments you have set up already. Uh, if you'd like to set up a new appointment type you just click the button at the top left, new appointment type and we'll put in uh, the name and details for this. So let's say we want to have a, a horse riding lesson. Um, we can put in a description here about the, uh, about the lesson itself so that people know they uh, know what they're booking and, uh, and then we can fill in the various details that we want. So the short description we don't need to worry about here. This is for um, this is for integration with a third party with a toddle about. Uh, the booking warning, if we want your, um, your confirmation email that goes out to tell anybody about uh, anything specific to this booking then you can put that in here and it will automatically enter um, the, this text into the confirmation email that goes out. So we can put that in here. We select the address that it's running at. Uh, if, uh, so you can select an existing address here or you can create a new address using this option here if the address isn't there. Set the cost. If it's free you can leave it as zero but set it to however much you would like. And then the category option allows you, if you're using the categories view on the booking widget, um, it allows you to, to set up which category you want. And again, if the category isn't there, so I don't have a riding lessons one here, I can add a new category here and that will display for people here. So that will work in that way. Um, and then uh, further down here, the archived option is only if it's an old old. Uh, booking type so we don't want to turn that to yes. Age limits allows you to say if there's certain ages that this is for which I'll leave blank. Uh, and then we go on to the next step. So this is where you set how long the appointment will last for um, and how it will display on your booking widget. So we can set the duration here so we'll say it's a half an hour lesson, 30 minutes. Start booking slots every so many minutes. Now what this means is uh, it, it tells the system how to display the booking options on your uh, on your widget. So if we set it 30 minutes then it will set it will have a start time every 30 minutes. So if I say I'm available from 9 till 10 there will be a slot from 9 till 9.30 and 9.30 till 10. If I did this start every 15 minutes then it, it would offer booking slots from 9 to 9.30, it would 9.15 to 9.45, 9.30 to 10 and on like that. So uh, I think it makes most sense in this case to have a 30 minute uh, starting break and then we have an option to set blocked time after the booking. So if you want to block out your calendar uh, for a bit of time to do some follow up or anything like that after the meeting or travel or anything like that then you can set that here and it will block that time out in your calendar so no one else can book you for uh, an hour. Um, in this example, I've said it's th as 30 minutes and 30 minutes. Um, your calendar will be booked out for an hour but the customer who's booking with you will only have a, a 30 minute confirmation. So if we set that, uh, on the next step uh, this allows you to set custom fields, so extra fields you want to display on this booking. Um, you've already set up custom fields at a company level, they will appear on all your different booking options, uh, but if you want something specific just for this appointment, um, for example what do you want to discuss at this appointment or anything like that, you can add the field here using the add new field button. I'll just leave it the same and click save uh, and we now have an option, an appointment option for horse riding lessons. Uh, however, um, there is one more step we need to complete and that is we need to tell the system when you're available to accept these appointments. So if we go back to business now and we go to manage staff then we can see our members of staff on this page and at the top we've got an availabilities calendar and we've got a diary calendar. The availabilities is where we tell the system when we're available and the diary is where the system tells us when we've been booked. So if we double click onto availabilities we can see we have some availability here already. Find the date that you would like to be available for and double click. When you double click on it uh, it will default to, uh, to certain settings. Leave the date the same because you want this to be just for the date you've clicked on but then change the time. So I'm going to say I'm available from 12 
until uh, 12 lunchtime. You can type it in like that or if you click on the icon here then you can pick the time from here as well from this time picker. Then you want to say what am I available for at this time um, and I want to say I'm available for horse riding lessons. You could be available for multiple things at the same time slot. Um, once somebody books for one of those things your your time is then booked it won't show that availability for any of the different booking options. Um, so we can set, cl click save then and uh, we will then be available on that day and that time will show on our booking widget. But you will have also seen that we've got this recurring option here. So if we want to uh, set multiple dates at once then we can do that from here. And uh, the way we do that, if we click on recurring then it gives us a lot of different options for how we can do this. We can do it every day, we can do it uh, repeat it once a week, we can do it monthly, we can even do it annually. Um, if we do it daily we've got a whole bunch of cool options here so we can even say on specific days so I want to be available on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays for this and then it says when do you want it to finish so our availability for this situation will say it's just for this month so I'm going to do it end on the end by and I will click on here and I will say we'll end at the end of November um, now I, I have said Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. If I click Thursdays as the end date then it won't show me availability for that. It will finish at midnight uh, at the start of that day. So what you want to do actually if that is the case is you'll want to select Friday as the end date because then it will include Thursday in your options. And then we can click save on that uh, and then it creates as we can see here different availabilities for Monday, for Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. And when you now go to your booking widget you will see those booking options available. You can get to that from the booking widget area. As ever any questions give me a shout. You can email me at support at bookthatin.com. Thanks.